So hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Raymond and today I am going to be attempting to do a 24-hour reading vlog. So I'm pretty much excited about today because it is actually September or no October 10, 2020. So it means it's 1010 and it is the sale and I am really happy because I am safe. I haven't really checked out anything, you know, like Lazada sale, Shopee sale, like you know, I actually didn't order anything and yeah, I feel really safe and I hope you all guys also safe when it comes to you know everything in your house so for this reading vlog as I am really attempting to be somehow spooky because you know October is a spooky month and yeah uh, the first book that I have here is actually spooky the book that I chose for this reading vlog is Ta -da! Jack the Reaper by Kerry Maniscalco so I really don't know anything about the story but I think that I think it's really spooky and you know alam nyo ko guys I don't really do synopsis when I haven't read the book but basically I feel like this is a spooky book so this is going to be the first book in my reading vlog. So I'm gonna give you an update later because as of now it is already 12.07 in the morning so it is Sunday so it's the start of my spooky reading vlog so I should be reading now so bye for now. So this video is sponsored by Energy and Charot. <laughs> Ay, na para may tubig. <laughs> So hello everyone, I am back. So time check is actually 9.30 in the morning and we just got home from Loyola and I am still currently reading Stock and Jack the Reaper and I'm still on page for about 65 in this book. So yeah, there is a lot of organs here like murder, prostitute and something like that but I'm not yet far so I'm gonna give you an update later so I'm gonna read more so bye for now. So 
hello everyone, I am back. So time check, it is 4.06 in the afternoon and I actually finished Ta-da! Stalking Jack the Reaper by Kerry Maniscalco and I gave this book a 4 stars. Well, I didn't really expect to finish this uh, quickly because I really thought that I'm gonna finish this for like about uh, 12 midnight. But I'm really happy that I finished this early because, you know, my goal in my 24 hour daily vlog is to just read this book and Right now, I still have time to do anything and I'm actually still planning to read one more book. But let's talk about first with what this book is all about. So, Stalking Jack the Reaper is a historical mystery crime thriller and I really did enjoy the historical element of this novel which is set in Victorian era. And I really do love the main character in this story which is Audrey. She is the kind of character who is like witty, smart, and I really do love her sense of humor. But what I also like about the main character in the story, which is Aubrey, is that she do love forensic science. Like she is helping her uncle to do or undergo autopsy or dissecting or like getting the organ by, you know, in order for them to solve a crime, a murder, or you know, a mystery and stuff like that. So I really do love, you know, the idea of a female character like doing this kind of job because somehow it's really really um, gruesome at some part of the story but you know in this story it's really uh, the gruesome part was really good it was not the kind of gruesome that you will just not read it at all so in this story we follow the point of view of our main character which is Audrey that is um, how you know trying to solve a murder so as a reader we are also trying to figure out what is really happening and who and what really happened and who is the murderer in this story and I really do love that kind of story that you yung what really happened and kung sino yung and stuff like that and I really do love the revelation you know after uh, after the, uh, the ending of the story was really good and I can't wait for the sequel I wanted to read the sequel actually but anyway again what I really do love about this story is the historical element and the character but the only critic that I'm going to say with uh, this book is there are a lot of side characters that has or didn't have a character development like when I actually started reading this book I was I didn't know who is who like I was really confused on the characters because because it was really um, the author just uh, indicate all of the names but you know I really did not understood who is who but anyway you know the main character in this book is Audrey and you know she is the kind of character that I really do love to follow so I think that's the only critique that I'm going to say with this book but again this is a, se this is a series so maybe the second book or third book I don't know but anyway you know I did enjoy this book so much and I gave this book a four stars so right now it is 4 26 in the afternoon and I just don't know what to do if I'm gonna read another book or I'm just gonna watch Netflix shows but anyway I'm gonna give you an update later so bye for now So after a lot of thinking, I decided to read or listen to an audiobook and the title is Caroline by Neil Gaiman. So 
Oh, hello everyone. I am back. So time check. It is 11.52 in the evening and I actually finished the audiobook of Coraline. At the same time, I actually finished watching the movie adaptation of Coraline by Neil Gaiman and I actually rate both of the movie and the book or the audiobook a solid 5 star read. So I really do love the audiobook of this like the narrator is actually also Neil Gaiman and I really do love it so much because you know it's there is actually a lot of sound effects like you know a spooky sound effects in the audiobook that I really got somehow you know I really got scared in the audiobook at the same time it's also creepy I have to say it's really creepy the story is somehow a really a spooky uh, story for me. With regards to it, the movie and the audiobook or the book per se, it's really, you know, there is, I, I have to say that it's really similar. Like, you know, walang masyadong binago when it comes to the book and the movie and yeah, I really do enjoy this book so much. It's actually a horror fiction novel. So the story of Coraline is we follow our main character which is Coraline that somehow together with her family they recently just moved into a apartment I believe that's an apartment or like a duplex type of a home but basically our main character really got bored and she started to explore the apartment. So as she explores she will find a small door where and when you enter that door you will be somehow uh, entering a parallel version of her life and somehow she entered the parallel version of her life where and she will see her alternate mother and her father and everything is you know in that place and it's really creepy especially you know the um, the faces of uh, the alternate mother and father and the rest of of you know in that place in that parallel version it's really creepy and yeah i really got somehow scared in this novel that's why i really gave this book a five stars so i'm gonna wrap this reading vlog so let's do a recap so the first book that i finished today is the dance talking jack the reaper by karen monoscalco and i gave this book a four stars i also actually uh, listen to this on in audiobook and physical book. Next one is Coraline by Neil Gaiman and I really did enjoy that book. It's really a spooky read and I gave it a five stars. I really did enjoy this reading vlog. This is actually the 10th reading vlog in this channel and I really can't uh, imagine that I actually just produced 10 reading vlogs. So that's it for my reading vlog. So I hope you're still there and I hope you enjoyed this video. So once again, thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more about my book, please subscribe and I will see you on my next video. Bye!